Please welcome Alex Gibney. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Pl pleasure to be here. I have such a strange relationship with your work because I'm a huge fan of what you do, but it always makes me feel like the world is not worth living in. <laughs> you, you created the, 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 the documentary um, Going Clear, which I know a lot of people loved about Scientology. Yes. Uh, you've worked on this new series, Dirty Money. What is it all about? Dirty Money is all about corporate crime. And at a moment when our president says it's, it'd be good to dere deregulate everything having to do with... Uh, uh, corporate activity, this shows you what might happen if that were to come to pass, and indeed, sh these are real stories. So. Right. You, you look at some of the stories. I mean, we can kick it off with the first episode, which uh, you not only uh, created but also directed. It's the story of VW, the emissions scandal. Right. Everyone has now learned of VW coming out, you know, and, and figuring out a way to trick the emissions test. But you broke the story that they were using monkeys to experiment on? I, I didn't even know that car manufacturers had monkeys, first of all. <laughs> and what were they actually doing with these experiments? Well, what they were doing, and it was VW and actually Mercedes and BMW, they set up a kind of a fake nonprofit to try to prove that diesel exhaust <laughs> was good for you or wasn't bad for you. And so they set up a scientific test in New Mexico. And originally, as you saw from the clip, they were going to test it on human beings. And then they thought somebody at uh, VW America thought, well, you know, this was a company that was jump-started by Hitler. Maybe that, the optics of that aren't so good. That right, we're right, right. Yeah, yeah, guessing the people, yeah. yeah. Um, so... I like that there was just one person who said that. Yeah. Should, should I uh, speak <laughs> Excuse up? Excuse me. Just yeah. me? <laughs> but, but interestingly, it didn't stop there. Instead of saying, right, forget it, going back to the drawing board, they said, ah, we've got an idea. Okay, humans, maybe that's no good. How about NHPs? And somebody said, well, what are NHPs? Non-human primates. And so what they did was they got monkeys, and they put them in um, plastic, clear plastic boxes. They made them watch cartoons, and they piped diesel exhaust into those boxes. Uh, and then they tested them. They, they scraped their lungs afterwards to see what had happened to them. It's, it's horrifying. And they were doing it in order to be able to prove that diesel exhaust was good for you. It's like the cigarette companies trying to prove that cigarette smoke is good for you. So now, we, we find out this story. It becomes big news. I mean, now the New York Times is reporting on the story as well. Uh, I'm watching this documentary of yours, and I'm going, what happens, though? Because it feels like the company pays a fine. I think VW's was $26 billion. Yeah. And then it all seems to go away. Now, I would say, in VW's case, some executives are going to jail. One guy's going to jail for 10 years. There's another guy, I believe, is going to, get, going to jail for seven years. But... What hasn't happened yet uh, is they haven't gone up the chain. And at a company like VW, there's just no question that the people at the top right. knew what was happening, not only with the monkeys, but also with this cheating scandal. Because the, the cheating is not just cheating. These emissions, you know, they were... The cars were disgorging 50 times the allowable limit of uh, nitrogen oxide. And that stuff is terrible. My daughter has asthma. And it was... Um, uh, I, I saw her collapse in front of me on a soccer field because she couldn't get enough oxygen. We think that um, she got that condition in part by living in Southern California, breathing in right. NOx fumes. So when you're disgorging 50 times uh, the amount of allowable pollution, it's really concerning. And in fact, we discovered in the course of doing this film that as a result of nitrogen oxide pollution, there are over 10,000 premature deaths a year in Europe. So this, these have life and death consequences. You, you talk about the people at the top not facing the consequences. You talk about some people maybe going to jail. But th there's another part of the series where you examine uh, the banks, HSBC specifically, yes. who were found to be helping Mexican drug cartels launder their money. Now, what's particularly infuriating about this is not only do they find them guilty, HB HSBC seems like they don't really care about it. They're really arrogant in the way they handle it. And then they want to pay the fine and move on. And now the Department of Justice is dropping the charges? Indeed, they're moving on. And nobody at HSBC has been prosecuted for that. It's appalling. And it's really frustrating in the film, which is uh, terribly well directed by a woman named Christy Jacobson, you see prosecutors and all sorts of uh, journalists and so forth saying, You've got them red-handed. You know, prosecute right. them. And then, clearly, the people at the Department of Justice decided they were too big to jail. That's the appalling thing. 
in terms of white collar crime, you know, we'll put somebody to jail into jail for ten years for stealing the TV set, right? But steal five hundred million, and you get a new private jet. So what you're saying is people need to steal more things to not go to jail. Correct. <laughs> Now, now you're catching on. Okay, okay. How, how does the administration respond to this? Because let's say somebody like Donald Trump, and he's come in with a very tough no on crime, and we're gonna stop the drugs, and we're gonna... But you could argue that without these banks, many of these drug cartels don't have uh, the, the power that they, that they have right now. Because if they don't... If they can't transport their money, if they can't buy weapons, if they can't move things around, then they just don't have the same ability. You would think that the administration would be going after them the hardest. You would think, but those are big businessmen who provide campaign contributions. And as Lindsey Graham reminded us recently, you know, it's all about those campaign contributors. That's who they're doing this for. You know, it's interesting, uh, in the Trump administration, uh, just announced its new budget for the Consumer Protection Bureau. Right. You, you know what the budget is? I'm gonna say less than it should be. Zero. <laughs> Zero is less than it should be. <laughs> yeah, zero is not very much for which consumer they, protection. Which means they, they don't care about it. Correct. And so we live in a world now where the bankers now wait for the next group of people that they can do the same thing with. Indeed. And this is why I say you make me hate life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there's got to be some good news. I'm the, sure there Well, is. the good news is you make the shows that expose the people, and then hopefully because of that, people are shamed into doing something about it. So thank you very much for being thank on the show. Thank you very much. Pleasure. I really appreciate it. Dirty Money is available now on Netflix. Alex Jibney, everybody.